Good afternoon. This is Pastor Dave, five minutes with Pastor Dave. The Lord's been impressed on my heart on the area of what the importance of sound doctrine. In the Bible, Paul is telling Titus, he said, now I want you to go to Crete and it's, a, it's an area where there's a lot of uh, ports, shipyards around it, very prosperous, but they were very wicked. Uh, the uh, government was wicked, fact of business, they had even called them the liars because they were so wicked. His in history, we read this. And they were so, so in, in sexual sins and everything else, and they had uh, so turned away from God, sort of like our generation is today, where there's no absolutes or nothing like that. Everybody lives to himself. And Paul tells Titus, he says, I want you to go there, and I don't want you to just live in a, in a, in a, cave somewhere, but I want you to get out there among the people, and I want you to show them what the power of the gospel can do to your life, because the, the gospel changes you from the inside out, and not the outside in, it's the inside out. And they had went away from the teachings of the word. Now, when he says in Titus there, but speak though thou the things that become of sound doctrine, why would he give such a command if it wasn't important? I mean, why, why is it important what you believe? Can't you just believe anything and, and make it? No, friend, there is only one way, and that's Jesus Christ and him crucified. According to the scriptures, it says in Corinthians there that Jesus died on Calvary's cross. He rose again the third day, and he ascended up into heaven. In Acts, we find this, and it is Jesus is the way. And so in the uh, Cretes there, they were saying anything will get you to heaven. Just, just no matter what you believe, just believe something. But that is not true. That is the deception. And so Paul sent Titus in there and said, look, start these small groups, get in among them and let them see what it's like to live from the inside out, the joy of the Lord and a life that's with no condemnation. And so Titus went to Crete and he started to preach in the gospel. Now, he was dealing with a lot of religious areas where they were allowing anything and everything. And so when he comes to the sound doctrine there, and you say, well, uh, Dave, what is the, what's the important sound doctrine? Well, it's important because our faith is based on a specific message. And that is that Jesus Christ died on Calvary's cross, rose again the third day, and is conquerors over death, hell, and the grave. If it wasn't for that, if he had been in the grave, stayed in the grave, you and I would have no forgiveness because he'd been like any other man. But because he paid the supreme sacrifice on Calvary's cross, you and I have hope. And uh, that's the reason why he told him, he said, preach Jesus Christ and him crucified. He said, they're just a bunch of liars over there. They, they, they just lie to the people. You tell them the truth. Then we find the sound doctrine uh, is important because it's your eternal destiny. You're going to spend eternity somewhere. I mean, I, you can you can say, well, I don't believe that, but you're going to spend eternity somewhere. And it's in the sound doctrine is important because it's is the gospel is a sacred trust. God wanted us to share this around the world. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. You and I have a responsibility to share the news uh, that it will change people's life. People are headed headlong to judgment. And he said, I'm giving you, I'm giving you the truth that will make man free. So, so Titus, you get in there among the society. Don't, don't go hide in a cave somewhere, but get into the society, live a life that's full of the power of God and let them see from the inside out that they're there is something of serving Jesus, the joy of serving Jesus, the joy of having your sins forgiven. So Titus goes in and he preaches the gospel. Then we find not only that, but we find that uh, the sound doctrine is important because what you believe affects what you do. Now, when you take away absolutes and you say, well, anything goes, I can do anything. That's the reason why you see crime on the street. That's the reason why people have no guilt of going along shooting somebody or robbing somebody or killing somebody because everything is go. There's no absolutes. But the person that has absolutes, he, he lets his life be on the basis of the word of God. He has absolutes. There's things that regulate him and he has a life of joy and a life of peace. Now, you can't tell me that there's not a lot of heartache and sadness out there in the streets of the cities where crime is running at a rampant page, a pace. And, and so he, he was telling, he was telling uh, uh, Titus, now go in there and share with them that the God that we serve can change them from the inside out, that they'll have a desire to do what's right. See, 
in sin, you have no desire to do what's right. You have to have the power of God to change you on the inside, and then it gives you that authority and that power to be what God wants you to be. And that's the reason why he said, I want you to preach the sound gospel. And this watered down stuff that anything goes and all that, it will not change your life. And you will live in misery and religion stinks to high heaven. I hate religion, but I like a personal relationship with a living God. And that's what God wants you to have is a personal relationship. And it will affect the way you go and the, what you do. So I'm telling you, friend, to... to Hold on to the sound doctrine. And it said, uh, we must tell the truth to a false world. The Bible says in the last day, there's going to be false teachers come in. We've got to stand up what the Bible says. I don't care who, who, if the president likes it or, or, or anybody else likes it or the denomination likes it or what. You and I need to stand for what is right. Stand on the word of God. Preach the word of God. Preach what it says that God loves man. He cares for man. He doesn't want any to perish, but he wants them to come to life. Even while the devil is trying to tell them that lying, cheating, stealing, and killing and everything else. Oh, that, that, you have fun doing that. But the eternity is waiting on them. Share the good news. Somebody needs to hear that you love them, you care for them. This week, they'll need to hear that. So go out there in the street. I'll meet you in the street sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ because he is Lord and he is Savior and he's coming back again. And we're going to see you one of these days in heaven. Glory be to God. Have a good week.